James St. Patrick. Okay. <laughs> VA all day. Two up, two down. You know what it is with Jay Irv and Mr. Patrick is in your town. Everybody else got AK. How you doing? How you doing? How y'all feeling today, man? I'm feeling good, man. Good. I'm feeling good. It's a late night. Uh, you know, once again, thank you all for accommodating. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, I'm mm-hmm. hyped, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm hyped, man. Still ain't getting my gummy words. Man, man look, okay, we're not off. <laughs> we're not, listen, people. I paid him. I have the receipt. Nah, nah, nah. I did. Nah, I did. I did. We got to pay me in the same currency, though. I did. I paid. Actually, I paid more. Nah, nah. <laughs> I, I saw, paid you a gummy words. You got to pay me back in gummy words. I know. I gave you the money, and I overpaid because I saw it a little later. Bottom line is, Jay Irvin like to pay that. Now, now, now you know why. I, I paid when you said, uh, you know, CJ, you want something? I'm like, nah. nah, 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 nah I'm good. Nah, hey, look, I'm straight. <laughs> I paid my debt. It's all good. I ain't no offense. What's going on with you, CJ? Man, look, man. You know that feeling that you get when you walk into your car and you see the rim in the ground? Oh, yeah. yeah that's what I was doing today. So I uh, got off work. Uh, I love my shift. Three o'clock. I'm walking to the car. Oh, you in the parking lot? Yeah, man. I'm thinking I'm out. And I'm like, is that my rim on the ground? I see? mean, the whole rim on the ground. That's crazy. Yeah, it hurt my heart. And I'm out there in Atlanta, so of course, uh, <laughs> hey, big ups to uh, the Road Runners uh, tow service. They came out and changed the car. Oh, I ain't have a jack in the car, so you know I, I felt like that guy. But a lot of people at work thought that the reason why they changed the tires is because I was dressed nice. So I kind of just, I kind of just went with yeah. that. I didn't want to be like I'm the man with no, you know, car jack in the car. I ain't want to be that. We <laughs> gotta stop giving out free promos, man. Like, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Hey man, they looked out for me. Hey, like, out for me. Road Runners told hey. send us some cake, man. We need it. We need that. We gonna shout you out. Send us that thread, man. Like, we stopping that today. Like, turn your labels around. That's good. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, t- turn that around. Hey, y'all should have heard the conversation that they was having before the show. A hey, herb is on team. Hey. Nah, we, we don't want that. But you know why though? Uh, uh, I'm a huge, you know, movie buff. You know what I'm saying? I especially love horror movies. A lot of people don't know that. The trailer for the new Candy Man oh, yeah. has come back. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jordan Hill. Yeah, it's his joint. Yeah, so, yeah, it's his joint. So, yeah, he, uh, you know, took it back to the original, but oh, added okay. his flavor to it. So, oh, that's, that's, what, that's what got you to hide. I have my yeah, thoughts about too. the movie Candy Man. I had to share with y'all off the camera. Off the camera. You got what he got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> good, man. Today, it, it's going to be a good day, man. You know, today we got a special topic. As you see, Herb, you know, he already on a thousand. Yeah, man. So, so you know, before we start any show, we can't start any show without first educating the people. We got to look for my man C. Jizzle to give us that black fact of the day. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even he sound today. Yeah, you got you got, you got to bring it. I appreciate that. Let me get it one more time. Let me, let me, let me give you that. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right. I looked into this and it absolutely it blew me away. We all have children, right? Mm-hmm. You you you've been uh when it got you you know no most people don't want to do it but you know people get flu shots and you try to do preventative measures not to get sick. True. So I have not had one. 
you, I, I never had one either. Got the flu for the first time last year, and I can understand <laughs> why we get that flu shot. But vaccinations, right? Okay. Do you not know there was a gentleman, actually an African, original, he was a slave, mm-hmm. Onesimus is his name. He is the one who actually convinced the governing officials to do it. So Onesimus his, he, uh, came up with a traditional African practice. This was used uh, to, uh, in, uh, I'm sorry, inoculate American soldiers during the uh, Revolutionary War. And he introduced the concept of inoculation to the United States. Inoc- inoculation, excuse me, is mm-hmm. another word of uh, immunization. Right. All right. So he came up to uh, told the government officials at the time about the century old tradition of immunizations that was practiced in Africa. Mm. By extracting the material from an infected person and scratching it into the skin of an uninfected person, you could deliberately introduce smallpox to mm. another individual, making them immune. So this was an African guy who came up with this right. So considered constrained, uh, extremely dangerous at the time, of course, because he was a black man coming up with this. They didn't want to hear right, it. He convinced the doctor <laughs> Boylston to experiment the procedure when smallpox epidemic hit Boston in 1721. Mm. Over 240 people were uh, inoculated. This was opposed politically, religiously, yeah, and right. medically. They didn't want to have that. nothing to do with his brother. <laughs> but let's say uh, out of the 240 people that got um, that chose the immunization, only 2% of them got sick compared to the 15% of the people who chose not to. Nah. So the reason why you get your kids uh, inoculated, <laughs> you get your in, uh, immunization, is because of uh, a black man. So uh, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Oh, yeah, because you know they ain't about to let you into school without <laughs> 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 you know, you, you try to start the kid in school, like, yo, what yeah, you got to have shot? Yeah, you got to have Or you got to go through all them loopholes and, you know, I guess you can get off of it, you know, if, like, if you say for religion. Yeah, you yeah. have the right documentation. Yeah. Like, yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Appreciate the uh, Black Factor Day. You know, we keep our ears to the street and we got to look to my man, Jay Irv, to give us that word on the street. Four, three, so, two. Yeah, man, so I, I got two for today. So the first one... Uh, Are you showing off, though? Because you had two last week. You showing off, okay? I think I had three last week. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, who's counting? Hey, who's, hey, who's, hey, who's, hey, who's counting? Hey, count? yeah. I'll be quiet. Jay, we just count. I hide that right. clip, bro. He mad on the gummy worms. Can I just get to the word of the street? Go ahead, man. <laughs> no, nah, man, but uh, so it's right here in Atlanta. Uh, black woman, black woman-owned radio network celebrates seven years on the air and launches real, real estate talk show. Uh, LoudmouthRadio.com is rapidly growing in that radio platform that has connected local, regional, and national exposure of content up to individuals and families with engaging businesses. This is a, a black woman. Yeah, uh, yeah, black woman. Radio? Yep, yeah, radio. Wow. Yeah. So, what, is, what is in the woods? Sonny and, and, and Jazzy Jones, Jones Smith, these, co-host these of Loud Mouth Radio. Is, is not playing. They are not they, playing. They're taking names on they, it. They, they, they cover all different topics and, you know, basically using their platform to get other you know, right. people into the game. So, okay. um, there's two two women. So, nice. it's, uh, absolutely. Based right out of Atlanta. So, oh, okay. Oh, and the A, too. And not out of the A. I started looking at the address and the people, like, you know, with, with, with the demo tapes. Here's our so demo. It's our demo, right? All right. We're going to do the ball. What you got for your second? Then the second joint, man, is the Innovative Leadership Program for Black Boys continues at Princeton University. All right. So, in New York, New York, in an effort to forge more black male leaders in business, Social Justice and Global Issues, Reverend Toby Sanders founded From the Fire Leadership Academy for Young Men. Mm. It is a program at All Well Conferences Incorporated, a nonprofit organization created by the CEO, Jacqueline Glass Campbell. Mm. So just kind of give you like a brief overview. Uh, From the Fire is a two-week boarding program held on the campus of Princeton University from July 19th to July 31st. Uh, you can sign your children up. Mm-hmm. There's an application deadline uh, by March 31st, okay. and it basically, you know, just you know, getting kids from all different backgrounds, and you know, just creating a, a new walk of life. You know, pretty much. So it's like a, you said it was two week program. Right? Yeah, two week program. Okay, and it's uh, on the campus of Princeton. On Princeton, that's okay. huge. Absolutely. That's so, what's up. Uh, yeah, man. Good thing. Just you know, it's basically t- taking young men, young children to. Give them a different way of looking at life versus the traditional, like you know, uh, you know, going to college and all that. So you basically open up your mind, like this other yeah. avenue, you know, getting involved in social injustice stuff like that. So right. it's, you know, and just showing the institutions of education. Absolutely. And then where's where's the location? That's you know, yeah, that's pretty huge. <laughs> and I don't make any light of it, but when your name is Toby. You have to be big. <laughs> you just feel obligated yeah, with yeah. that. <laughs> and, 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 and good thing with that too, man. So the keynote speakers for this year's program are going to be uh, actors Danny Glover and Delroy Lindo. Mm. 
Oh, Damn, you know, yeah, that key, wow. key, that keynote speaker. So, oh, yeah. shout out to him, man. So, that's 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 we got it. Good, good, good positive day, man. That's that's good. Good. But I, but I would say Danny Glover is, is underrated. Very much so. Because I think he's a fantastic actor. I don't think he gets the notoriety and the thing you know he deserves. Yeah, he OG. Yeah. yeah, he paved the way for people like myself. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just be real. Shout out to Danny. Gotta give some love when that one does. All right. So, appreciate the word on the street, J. Oh, no, Irv, no, no, no. my man C. Jizzle giving us that black fact, educating the people. Today is going to be a special topic, you know. Mike, you know, we had a little fight club beforehand, but <laughs> we good now. We went over Lil. We went over L.I.A. It was a big fight. <laughs> we had a, a pre, over the air, uh, before, off the air conversation just about everything. Yeah, so, it was probably, it's going to be, it won't make the airwaves, though. No, nah, no, nah, it's going to be really good. <laughs> definitely won't make the airwaves. But today... It's something I think is kind of a, I'm not going to say taboo, but it, it's something that really is prevalent right now. And I think you mentioned it earlier. It's not something that's not really talked about as large of a scale, but I, I feel like it's very re- relevant right now with the climate of everything. Mm-hmm. So today's culture for our meat and potatoes, we're going to call this culture vultures. That, oh, that's, 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 that's culture vultures. So uh, I'm going to lean to uh, my deacon over here, uh, <laughs> Jay Irv. This is what you are. The king deacon over here, boy. Deacon, deacon Jay Irv. You gonna start that today? <laughs> they gonna get to so, the off-air so, fight. Oh, yeah. All right, so just read us when you hear the term culture, but just give us the definition. Of that. Tell me your definition. This, this is by, who, who's the definition? This is for, uh, this is Urban Dictionary. Oh, yeah. Uh, give us a, a plug on that. <laughs> so, uh, but here's the thing. So they define culture force as a person or organization mm-hmm. making a profit using unhonorable practices from a culture that they do not care for. Mm. Example, in music, major record labels signing the latest viral rapper, exploiting them for the match returns, even if their music sucks. Which is a lot of music that's out there today. Um, <laughs> are we gonna talk about yeah, we were talking about that. Uh, another example, um, this is another touchy subject, but TV shows and movies creating a polarizing gay character in the pursuit of the LGBT community's oh, cash. Kind of going. Right. And you, uh, if you see that now, I thought about it. Uh, when okay. you see that now, that's, that's more prevalent in today. So uh, I just saw, I'm a big Marvel fan, but I just saw they made an announcement where they're going to have the first openly gay superhero in their movie. So let me ask you this. You're, you're the Marvel guy. Correct. You know, are there any characters in like the Stan Lee, right? Any characters that were gay in the actual comics or just like like a Hollywood play? I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't done my research on that aspect of it, mm-hmm. but I don't remember anybody in the that comics that I can recall at this moment. Okay. Um, so do you think they're trying to cash in on that? I, I, with the climate of everything now, that would be. I, 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 to, I, to be honest wild, with you, right? now, now listen, I, I don't have anything against, you know, that, that you know, you do your thing. But I think people are now trying to cap, you know, capitalize on that because that's the hot topic. That's the wave. Oh, yeah, yeah, they use it as a play. Yeah, yeah, they use it as a play where these people, you know, people are fighting for those rights, right? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, okay. This is their livelihood. They do this all the time, and they should be respected in that light, not try to be profit offered. And you see that now, and like even in cartoons now, they're doing it. So it's like mm. it's it's becoming a real big topic nowadays. So okay, yeah. so. I, I got to lean to our, our, our talker, you know, our, our big talker. Mr. Bring That Heat. Mr. Bring That Heat. When you hear the term culture vulture, what's kind of the first thing that comes to mind? The you first know? thing that comes to my mind, Malibu's Most Wanted. <laughs> that movie, and I, and I did have to get the name from a dog, J. Earl, my movie book over here. But that, the, and I know he's not like that. What's his, uh, Kennedy? That's his, what's his name? I don't know his name. But, but I know you're talking the, about the, He, when I think of culture vulture, mm-hmm. don't be hating like this. <laughs> It was so funny. And then even the other two characters with uh with Tay Diggs and Anthony Anderson, like they epitomized culture vulture. <laughs> and that, that was it. But like my definition would be a culture vulture is a person who adopts something different uh, from a different community and tries to make it their own. Mm. You're trying to come off as someone who you're not behind closed make- doors. When you step oh. outside, you put on this show, and then when you go back in the house, you act the way you normally act. Now if you someone who's you grew up in that culture. You, that's just you. That's mm-hmm. I'm not talking about you. It's the person who's trying to put <laughs> that in front of me. There you go. <laughs> I didn't say y'all. He's he trying to get started. He trying I'm to get started. <laughs> so make you said uh, taking something of so another culture uh-huh. and then making it. You're trying to make it your own. Okay. Yes. Like pretending to be that. You you're mean? trying to pretend to be that. So of course you 
a culture vulture, you can't make someone else culture your own. Of course. But when you try to make it your own, that's when you're vulturing to me. That's my definition. Okay. I like it. I like it. For me, um, when I first hear culture vulture, I, I feel like, just like you said, you're stealing something and you're trying to, I, I, I take it a different, a, a step further. I feel it like taking something, but not giving the nod. Like, I got this from, from C. Jizzle, but I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just going to say, get all the praise and take all yeah. that, but I ain't going to say, hey, C. Jizzle the one to show me. I'm so, just like, so that was great. That's like making it my own. Like, yeah. I, I've stolen it, and I'm trying to front like it's mine. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. If you taught me a process for it, and I ain't, give you, I ain't give you the nod and say, yo, boy, this is where I got it from. I have a question. Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, what, what, first, oh, you, you got to oh, tell oh, us what, oh. what you hear when you hear it. Coach Bolger. And then we can get to your question. Oh, you got to type it. Just email me your answer right. question real quick so I can approve <laughs> HR staff in the building. I got to shut some stuff down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my definition of Coach Bolger is, you know, taking something that not originally yours and right. using it for profit or for gain. Um, you know, that could be anything, though. Like, not just, like, music. It can, you know, anything that was not originally yours. So, like, if I got a great mac and cheese mm-hmm. and then I show you how mm-hmm. to make that, mm-hmm. and then you take that to your company party. Mm-hmm. If you don't give me the credit, you saying that's being a culture boy. You still it from my journey. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, kind of, but not necessarily. Uh, on the right, 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 man. No one don't steal it, but hey, <laughs> this, this white <laughs> Oh my, I can't even. I mean, his words can't describe it. You talking about the vegan joints you made? No, I ain't talking about the regular. Oh, the regular ones, real, yeah, real, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 sorry, I had to go. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I have my question, right? So what about like rappers, right? Mm-hmm. That rap about a lifestyle that someone that they knew and they're not like that in real life, like Fifty Ross. Uh, yeah, Ricky Ross. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know, man. Rick kind of, you know, said, but, but Rick my dude. Though. I love Rick, Rick Ross. Rick, that's, that's Rick, Rick, Rick kind of certified though, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's when they were goals. saying that he was a CEO, right? Yeah, that was his profession as his yeah, job. Oh, okay. I right. actually, act, you know, we had went on this. Uh, we went on this free trip to Miami. Okay. My wife won, she went and everything. <laughs> and someone actually asked him that when we were at dinner. Somebody was like, You used to be a correction officer. And okay. I mean, he said it with his chest. He was like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, I, that's what I did. But I still write bars, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it is what it is. Well, I tried to move it a different way. I was like, Oh, he was the connect because he was getting the people right there. Okay, but that's how I took it. <laughs> so, like, for instance, like, like Plies, right? Have you ever, like, you've seen an interview? No, not that plot. Okay. Right. I'm talking like the real plot. Like he's, you know, very articulate. Like you know, what I'm saying. But he told Kurt Franklin plot because they're really the same person. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so, so his thing. So his thing. Okay. Right. 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 So you know, people used to say like the stuff that he talked and rapped about, right, was right. not about him, it was about his brother. Okay. You, you hear all. You hear that all the time. Yes. So, does that classify as being the culture vulture? Like you, like you talking about something, a lifestyle that you had nothing to do with. I, I look at that as just jacking. You just jacking. Okay, so all right, stop. Because, yeah, you, okay. you, you, you swag okay. jacking. I just want to make sure. If you ain't lived the life of, of killing people and, and selling all this, but yet you rap. But, I, do, I mean, but it's not a lot of people that really rap what they actually live. But I will say that swagger jacking falls under the umbrella of culture culture. Yeah, some, I, some I, sort of form. Yeah, some sort of form of culture culture. I mean, that's it. You sure? That's right. Yeah. Hey, 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 see it off your chest. You see, you see your chest? No, I'm good, man. I'm good. Maybe it's because I got the Freddie and Jason shirt on there, man. Like, I just, man, turned red and everything. You know what good, though. So, do you think, you know, and I know this is probably going to be an obvious question for both of y'all, but I'm going to lay right back to you, Jay Herb. Do you think that this whole idea of having culture vultures is a real thing? Absolutely. Is it real or is it just something you just not? It's absolutely a real thing. Right. Why do you say that? Because it happens all the time. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people use, take stuff from other cultures and profit from it all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not just one race. That, right, it's uh, everybody. It's everybody. Like, everybody in some shape, form, or fashion that does, has nah, done it. Thank God. Right, <laughs> right. So, like, for instance, it's like, like, my, like, I know this is probably <laughs> on oh. Rush Hour too, right? You remember my man, black guy in Crenshaw with Chinese? Oh, people? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not a definition? That oh, is the culture yeah, culture. Right. Uh, right. My uh, man uh, had the suit on, he had the little, yeah, little, little, little brain jar. Great movie, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I get you that. That stuff happens all the time. No, I get you. I, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just, I'm just asking the question. I just wanted to see what, what about you, You think yes. that it's real? No, like, yeah, it's, it's real. Um, and you need it because culture vulture is a form of hating. And of course, you know, when you don't have your haters, mm. 
you know, you ain't doing something right. So it's kind of flattering to me when it's something like, you know, I can see a, a dance come out. And it's <laughs> popular with one set of people. And then you give it a couple months later, not everyone's doing it. So it's flattering. It's like, you know, it's that cool for you to take it on. But at the same time, like going back to your point, mm-hmm. you got to make sure that you give credit where it's due. Like I know if half of those people that dab knew where that started originated from, mm-hmm. they wouldn't be doing it. But mm-hmm. it's because now it's part of the culture. We made it look cool. So, so now it's cool. So now you just open the floodgates. So when you say, yes, you believe that culture vultures are real, who, who would you say or what? What is someone or an example of like culture books that you say that you look at now like that's straight? You straight still. One of my top ones I would say this for is, is Takashi. Takashi 69. Mm. If you look at pictures that's of him, man, if you, you look at pictures, that If you look at some middle school photos and high school photos of this kid, you're mm. looking at just, you know, an, an average looking guy, like the average right. Joker. Mm-hmm. And now you look at this dude, it's like, bruh, the mm-hmm. transformation that you had, like, you that was all culture vulture. But his, his thing, though, right, so he didn't steal from the culture, right? That will, okay, let me not say that, bro. Oh. The, the gang, the gangs used him, pretty much, right? You knew you, but were, was he actually gang affiliated? Or, no. Or he was just, no, like, you he can't get in court snitching and be gang, okay. but well, I guess you could. Well, yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah. His thing, so, like, you know, of course, the real gangsters in the, in that need to get to the money. You're not gonna have nobody a real OG in front of the camera. So what do you do? You so he was with your pawn, pawn you with your pretty much. Yeah, but so what was his whole deal? Like, I, so I didn't know that, but I just remember him always talking about he was like talking trash to everybody, just yeah. like talking smack, and then had fifty thousand security guards. He was the front to, for the money for the, for the for the game. Now I will be honest with you. Unless it came on the radio. I can't recall one song that he did, but it's because I just remember him butchering uh, 50 Cent Joe Get Distracted. Like, yeah. It, like, and I did burn certain But when, sure. I, I, when I look at him, it, I don't want to say a clown. It's like know, a character. He's, he's, a, he's, he's a character. character. He's a right. character. He's, yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly. right. Bro, that's perfect, bro. <laughs> it's like you, you're not even real. I'm not taking you serious, bro. You, I can, I'm already knowing before you open your mouth that right. whatever's yeah. coming out your mouth, you didn't live none of it. No, right, but but because you your your age, wisdom, you can see that. Yeah. But to yeah, people, kids, yeah. different generation. Mm-hmm. Oh, he like I mean, the, if you can look, the internet has not been the same since that kid's been locked up, y'all. Like for the time he was out, when he was on the Breakfast Club, right, he told them, he said, "Yo, this is gonna be the most watched interview y'all have ever had." Which is true. Both times. Which is true. <laughs> Both <laughs> times. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? I look at that. He found a way to to profit off of. Kind of just having that act, that character yeah, that he had that, was that, a way to that, 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 that game persona. Like you know what I'm saying? Like well, that's know. in. If if I say if I throw up, I'm a crip, I'm a blood, I'm a I don't know no bunch of gangs. If I'm throwing whatever, that's gonna automatically give me a little street cred though. Whether I live it or not, that's gonna give me the, the uh, cred though. Yes and no. It depends on who you around though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he right. had the right he had the right group of people around mm-hmm. him, like stamping like yo. Don't mess with homie. So it, it made it believable. You well, see I, I look at it as if somebody really from the street, they trying to get out. They ain't trying to glorify it. They're exactly. doing it because I'm trying to use this as a means to get out. When you look at people like Hope, when you look at people like Pusha T, that, yo, I really live this. You know, right. even uh, Yo Guy, like they like, like they really talk about what they live and they trying to like use it to get out. They ain't using it to try to get street credit or get points. I feel like now it's more spot it's more accepted. Yeah, I mean now it's more accepted to say you affiliated with something, whether you are or not. Who, who would you say? Who For me, I, I look at people like I say like a Kim K or even I got, people. I got yeah, on my list too. Right. So I look at that just only because Kim K can get braids, right? Mm-hmm. And they like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. We've been getting cornrows, braids, yeah, and, sorry, sorry, and, and, and hitting about history. Celia had them in the color purple. Yeah, right. But even, I mean, you can go back to Egypt, like Africa, yeah. anywhere. You can go way back to our history and track that, right? Right. But it's like, what bothers me and more about the coach thing is like, you can take something that belongs to a group of people and profit off it, but don't get denied. But not only that, it's like, it's accepted. You can have something to do the exact same thing. And like, black women have to have their hair braided, having. Full figure bodies, Fact. having full lips. We've had that forever. We're gonna be like, uh, that's just what, that's just what we're like used to. So yeah. when you see people now getting this and people paying to get all these surgeries and things like that, that's definitely good. They look at it as like, oh, that's that's super ghetto and this and this. If we talk a certain way, 
But let another another race say the same thing. It's like, oh, that's so funny. It's, it's all it's even cool. even flip side when you have someone who's not so ghetto. And I, I hate when somebody says, right. oh, yeah, you're talking like you're white. Right. You're just, I, I absolutely hate that. Right. I'm like, you know, because so we blame and what we our vernacular is. <laughs> yeah. So, so <laughs> if, I, if I can hold an intelligent conversation you know, and I can, you know, speak without cursing and I ain't, I don't have to use the N word. Oh, you, I'm speaking like a white guy. No, no. that's not. No, no, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're not saying that. So I'm the same way. I know how to conduct myself in a setting where I need to be. Depends you know, on where you at. It's two different people. Yeah. So you, you have, you know, you have, you know, Justin, or you have, you have Irv. Depending on the setting, you want to get where I just know how to get to the money. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Well, well, let's just be real. We as black people, we know how to code switch to. Like, we got to do it not even just to be funny or chill. We got to do it survive. In, in order to be in order to be considered for a position, you have to yes. You got to learn kind how to flip that switch. Quick. But honestly, that's what my mother told me. Was why she named me. Yeah, same name as you name. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> when you sit on an application, you don't know what you're gonna get to show up. I know my government. And it ain't Cleo. <laughs> I, I, I don't have people actually ask me that. Yes. No, it's not Cleo. <laughs> people I looked it up in Google. <laughs> you look it up in Google. from Jacksonville. Do do or Cleophis. Don't let him tell y'all that. If, if I gotta stick with the Aubrey Graham joint, he got to do it with Cleo. But that's a true story, no, it's, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> the office on his birth certificate. But it's real, though, man. It's like, like you said, I, I feel like we got a cold switch. But I think that's the bigger thing that bothers me. It's like, we can do the exact same thing. You still for us, and all of a sudden, it's a trend. And I even wrote, um, in my, uh, I wrote a poem called Envy of the World. And one of the lines is, how do you steal from us? And all of a sudden, it becomes a trend. Like, you can take something that's the exact same thing, and it's like, oh, it's great. Uh, oh, but when I do it, it's an issue for me. So why do you think that is? I think that's because we deem certain things as, I feel like, honestly, and we being real, yeah, and, and we want we the, we, the people we want yeah, that's all we are is real. I feel like we deem it, we we give everybody else the nod. But when it's our own people, prime example, you talk about if somebody's dabbing, right? You can't turn on the TV now without some type of news, radio, doing, oh, I'm going to hit the... Whoa! <laughs> do the wall. Was that your switch up? Yeah, that's the. I'm mean, gonna do the wall. That's your interview. Yeah, my code switch. Yeah. So, and that's how it sounds. Like, uh, let me hit them, folks. You know, it's like we can see that, and it's like, oh, that's amazing. It's dope. But yet, yeah, your son, your daughter, my daughter, my son, like we see that. That's normal for us. We've been right. doing that for. But it's like, if we do it, man, sit down somewhere. It's like we deal with somebody that's the exact same thing. We we'll we'll get mad at our brother for doing it, but like highlight when somebody else doing it from a different race. Right. Yeah. So and I could be wrong, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. A lot of times people don't like to see us, mm-hmm. like our own our own people. Our own people don't right. like to see other people being successful. Right? True. So prime example, like what we have now, the people's podcast, right? right. There's probably people that are watching right, right. now that are watching for the wrong reason. Yes. Like, yeah, right. But, but we do take Hate watches and hate news. <laughs> yes. Bring them on. Yes. We Please. Love them. Yes. Thank you. I continue to hate. Just like all that. Click into a round and like <laughs> and leaving a review. Right. And there's people that's probably you know, watching to see us fail or like, oh man, they But why, why do you think they're going there? Because instead of trying to learn from someone else, mm-hmm. it's in our, like, and this is not all our fault. We've kind of been taught, Condition. conditioned to, uh, for competition. Whole different, whole different, different topic. topic. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know, it's very hard to find somebody that genuinely wants to see, like, you know, you do well. So, like, if it's like your show, right? Like, when you have a show, hey, Irv, you know, I got a show coming out, do it, come out, support. I'm going to be there, you know, why? Because I genuinely want to see my brother mm-hmm. succeed. Now, if we were in the same lane, mm-hmm. right, it could have went to, I ain't going to see your show because mm-hmm. I got a show. I ain't going to see your You see what I'm saying? That's and it, should, it shouldn't be that way. I like that. Okay. It be so, that way. now you can bring up something I want to talk about. Okay. Comparison. Uh-huh. My biggest question, and you probably can't answer this, uh, probably, but do other cultures or other races do what we do? We as black people, we would take two people like, hey, who you think funny, Cat Williams or Kevin Hart? Do you think this person is comedian? It's like we do that with athletes, we do it with entertainers. It's like we always have to have like why they both can't be good. Yes. Who, Mike, Mike Matter or Kobe or you Jordan. Are, like, you know what I'm saying? You are good. <laughs> what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. But it's just like, why do we do that? Like, why do we always have to compare, like, this person versus that? I, my biggest question I've always wondered, and next time, you know, if, if you are of Caucasian, Asian, any other race that's not black, answer us. You know, send us a message, a comment below. Like, let us know, like, do you compare? Because I wonder, like, do Eli Manning and, and Tom Brady and 
Drew Brees sit there and be like, you know, who's the best quarterback? Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure they do. But I'm saying on the larger scale, yeah. when we're seeing it, you know what I'm saying? We don't I see that. But Brady, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Who got six but, rings, right? Yeah, he got yeah. six. But I love that. But I would like to hear from her. I don't I, think I, I heard I, you give I, a person. Oh, people. oh yeah, yeah. I'm up. You I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, you got some good names, y'all. Don't get us canceled. Go ahead, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, got I, I really dislike Think long, think yeah, wrong. No, no, no. So I'm, I'm going to just use Kanye West. That's the first one that sticks out to me. Yay? Yes. Jesus? You got to break that down. Dude, the, so, Jesus? So the new okay. the new Kanye West, like, okay. so this is after. Not through the wire, Kanye. No, absolutely. Okay. I, so, okay, so. So, uh, like, uh, uh, like Pablo. Or after like Pablo. Before like Pablo. Okay. Yes. Right, the, yes, right. Right when he got with the Kardashian thing. You okay. know what I'm saying? Uh, to me, he uses, he's an opportunist, right? So, he's like. always been. You can't, always you can't go from, you know. But George Bush doesn't care about black people to I'ma support, you know, Donald Trump. Now I what know, he said he said choice. because he, he felt like a superhero when he had the hat on. Like he felt oh, okay. <laughs> but I am not agreeing. No, I don't understand. So what, what, like okay, so do you what does that hat represent? Right? When you see that, if, if we were sitting here right now mm-hmm. and five guys walked to him with that hat on, right, and just look, hey, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, what you going to do? You already know what that right, represents. Cool. So yeah, yeah. if you're supposed to be for us and the coach, then why are you attaching yourself to that when you know what that means? Why? Because you're going to fuss out. Because you're a culture, culture <laughs> vulture. So he's getting that that group that supports that, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not going to say his name, mm-hmm. uh, to, to follow to what he's doing. Like, you're profiting off of, I, like I said, I just... I got I got a situation kind of. But he's true. always been like that. Though. Not necessarily though. No, though. when he was doing the backpack kid, when he was like he always found a way for you to support what he was doing. Even when he had the rants, it was like, yeah, he's just being yay. That's a, he's an artist. He's a genius, and he is a genius. He is an artist, oh, and he's that. very he's outspoken. Yeah. But yeah. when it comes down to he's opportunities, he he look at what he can get. Yeah, opportunities. He got people paying. What, $200 for some Adidas? There's no way in the world I would ever pay $200 for Adidas. Mom was gay Adidas. Unless they shell toes, mom was gay. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, people. A gift he bought himself, y'all. No, no, no. He bought three or four pairs. Let me get two and Let me get that over there, too. My my easiest word, gift. And this, I had mine prior to the change. So why don't you give up the Yeezys then? I don't wear them. Oh, so you don't wear it because of you wear them in the house, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the right house, right? Okay, I, so I think I, matter of fact, I take that back. I only I wore them in our photo shoot because it went with what I had. Them. Okay, so right. you feel like with Ye, he's taking a culture in what sense though? Taking that profit off of just because he just gained it for himself. He don't care about the no, yeah, he whatever. doesn't care about like he said the same thing he got that said George Bush doesn't care about black mm-hmm. people. He doesn't care about us anymore. And we would have wanted about the Sunday service though. We're not going to get to that. <laughs> I'm not talking about for the institute of church, but like no, 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 no. Him, him doing the actual church is like, you don't feel like that's legit, like doing... No, 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 I do not. I feel like, once again, that's something that's a, a, a hot topic. You know, where you, you know, he, he, got, he got the blessing of Joel Osteen. Man, don't ever mention that. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, if, if you're a Joel Osteen fan... <laughs> Y'all, I didn't look. That's uh, your thing. Y'all should have been here before we started shooting. But, 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 but see, my problem with that is once again, like you, you're supposed to be for the people. Okay. We can bring up the Hurricane Harvey situation. Like you, 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 mm-hmm. you gave me your point of view on that. Mm-hmm. But if you're for the people, I have a big place where people were they were out of homes. Right. You should, the door should be open. No, no questions asked. If you're for the people. So you to attach yourself with that, like because you know him and Joe Osteen and now they about to do a little tour, right? But yeah, why? Is Joe going to be rapping? No, I, I think he's just kidding. <laughs> he's doing it. He's not rapping no more. No, he's not, he's rapping. not rapping. Yeah, he's not rapping. They're doing the Sunday service. But why, why all of a sudden, Kanye West has been around for a while. Why all of a sudden now, these two are together and you're going to do a world tour? Like, more I, money, more money, more money. More. And that's, <laughs> a, that's a pro- So you got Kanye West, culture motion, or whatever we said, uh, up to him, and vice versa. Let, let's be real. America is the land of culture motion. Fact. Yeah. Like, that's true. That's, I mean, if you think about it as a that's whole, right. we represent culture instead of other cultures. That's the American way. You take something from another culture. Prime yeah. example, everywhere in the world, soccer is called football. Only place it's called soccer is in America. If you go to someone from another culture and say football, they looking like, what are you talking what about? They really, well, like, me personally, I call it kickball. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just kind of, I, but it's to say, it's like, when you think about that, if you go anywhere in the world and say soccer, they're like, what? What is that? 
oh, oh, you mean football? And we like, no, football. Which makes sense because you kick the ball with your foot the whole That's time. That's why I call it kickball. Bro. Right. It's, called, it's kickball, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's an advanced form of kickball. Now, I got you. So, so moving to the next part. So, we, we, we've agreed that, okay, that's culture bullshit is a real thing. You got a lot of people that get upset about it. Do you feel like that's warranted for us to get upset or we should have some type of feeling towards it or should we just, like, ignore it? No, Cat Williams said it the best. When you have the haters, if you got five haters, you know, you need to figure out how to get ten haters right, right. by the end of the year. When people choose to take your culture, it, you, it's no getting upset about it. I mean, it's it's like they, 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 you're admiring me enough to try to be like me. And like you said, it's really it really only takes off when we give it the blessing. Mm. If we if if another culture starts dabbing or, or doing something that we do and we just completely know it, don't give it no attention, it'll go away. But it's but we, for the fact that we, yeah, we, we have I definitely we, yeah. feel like that. Yeah. We 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 make a break. Any trend. Any trend. Any trend. We start trend. And even now, trend. like if you look at um Drake's song, what was it? Uh Drake is a culture vulture. Right, but but, but, yeah, but yeah, what was the song he had with Shiggy? The Kiki song, whatever. Do you love whatever that song? Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever that song is. Uh, he had Shiggy doing the dance for that, and based on that, it's like that blew up because of the dancing sport. So it's the same thing. Like we can take something small and make it big just yes. off of that. Yes. It's the same thing. So we can use that in a positive way. But even like, um, shout out to uh, not, not K Camp. Yeah, it is K Camp. K Camp has a song lottery. And his song he just had at the All Star game, he had the young girl dancing for it. She actually recorded that like on it was like a TikTok video for it, and the song blew up because of people remember the video. Didn't know who did the song, but K Camp song over a million, you know, streams on that right. easily for it. So you can use it the right way, and he did it the right way. Even though she's black, he's black. He can just be like, hey, I did this success on my own. But he brought her on there. Gave her the nod, did the video with it, everything. But I, t- I think I read their story where it was actually a group of uh, some some white females that actually made the 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 video pop, like took her dance. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so a they, video. Their video was the one that blew up. Right. To but the original, song, person, the original yeah, person didn't get the credit. He found her. Right, right. And put her on. And then put her on. But she put, was, yeah, she was on. just on TNT the other day yeah. and after the um the game actually. Yeah, because even at the All Star game, they didn't have her. I think it was. It was the group of white chicks. No, no, he no. She performed. She didn't perform at All Star. Yeah, she was right on the center floor for. And then when they well, just I, had, the, I the recall was she floor. surrounded by. A cup? <laughs> I, I could, I'm sorry, I could be wrong. No, 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 I could be wrong. I might have watched a different All Star game, <laughs> but I remember her being surrounded by the other group of girls. Like, okay. I think they had them all together. I, I but that goes to the point. Do you feel like the same thing? If a person that's not black does something, do you feel like it gets more recognition than someone black doing the exact same thing? It does because we 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 get we give them the yeah, we give them the So to your point, as far as like people, you know, uh, we we make or break trends, right? Very much. Right. right. So I'm, what we don't do, we don't use that power for our own people. I'm gonna give you a prime example. Despite what you feel about Colin Kaepernick and his stance and all that. Mm-hmm. If we really want to make a difference, now I know what Jay-Z is doing and all that, man, but here's a more powerful statement. I've said this. If the NFL is predominantly what? African-American, right? One game, one, just Everybody. one game, none of y'all come out the locker room. Mm-hmm. Colin Kaepernick would have had a job. It would have changed the would dynamic it, of the game. It, that's what it never happened ever again because we have that power. Mm-hmm. What happens is money gets involved. Yeah. We're going to yeah, take that bet. Oh yeah, that's Colin's problem. We mm-hmm. don't get behind our people mm-hmm. as like as we should in a more positive way. So you feel like we more drawn driven by the the, the aspect of money. Of right. having money Absolutely. Right. A lot of stuff happened now. You have now the true people that stand up for what they believe in, mm-hmm. you tend to see they don't really last long. They yes. they put people that don't believe in their objective, they put money into things that'll cancel them out. What, what, you know was, what was um and I actually saw this today and Irv, you might help me with this. He played for the Chicago Bulls. This was the year that uh, the Bulls beat the Lakers in the finals. And I want to say it was their first championship. Oh, you're talking about he didn't go to the, the White House? And Michael Jordan didn't go to the White House, but the gentleman mm-hmm. who did, he wore the, like, the... Uh, like, I, I think that's not I know. I know. I'm, yeah, and they knew his ball in front of the league. He, he never played. He, he never played. played and he could shoot the lights out, Oh, uh, that's not He right. could shoot. That's he not shoot right. Three three I saw it. But you know what I'm talking about. I know about, exactly what right? you're talking about. Yeah, and this brother, they blackballed him out of the league. He was like, he got released from the Bulls with really no reason. And couldn't find an agent. Agent wouldn't represent him. 
know basketball players association. Y'all, y'all, they they look down. I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so they made, a, they made a point to show, like, if you choose to go against the green, Oh, we're gonna, right. gonna cut you off. Yeah, we're gonna cut you off. Because he said he actually went to Jordan and he went to Magic and said, was like, nah. Yeah, we, he was like, if we just sit out one playoff game, just one. Mm-hmm. This was right after Rodney King. This was right after that. He was like, we just sit out one game. Okay. And Michael Jordan and Matt Duffer basically both told him, like, no, nah, that's going too, that's right. too, much. too much. But, but much. you know why? Because it, it, it involved the money. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Magic Johnson was a, was a global icon. Michael Jordan was a global icon. Yeah, yeah. Muhammad Ali. Still are. Yeah, still are. Muhammad Ali, right? Despite the, you know, people say he didn't go and fight in the war and all that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, great, he had great cause. Right, right. Right. He had a great cause, and he was for the people. He he, oh, he, no. he didn't let his status. Real people, yeah, yeah, real people. Yeah, real people. He didn't let his status get in the way of what people thought about him because he was doing what was right for the people. He understood the sacrifice that he had to do. Right. Um, and I think Colin is at peace at a point. Like I know what I'm doing because even every time I feel like his name is brought up on something. He'll come back, his PR team, they show him what he's doing. He's out there feeding the people. He's telling the homeless. He's giving clothes. It's like he has a cause for it. Whether we agree with his methods or whatever, that wasn't the, the, the purpose. I think he was bringing awareness. And right. at the end of the day, it was what, what, going on four years that he hasn't played in the league? Yeah, he but he's still, he, right. I mean, it's a rap for it. But so, it goes back to your point as far as we don't get behind our people. Well, but we what, do, but, but we but we Why don't. do you think that is, though? Like they cancel real quick. Well, not, well, it's, they, they cancel. They're not. They're not willing to yeah, take not, it. Yeah, yeah. It's sad to say it, it revolves around the money, man. It right. Revolves around the money. Like if 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 I knew they was gonna take money out of my pocket, right? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? For standing up for what I believe in. I'm not saying like me. I'm gonna be me regardless. <laughs> uh, but you have some people that look at it like you know what? That's that's his problem. But back to what we were saying earlier, as far as like if somebody else from another culture does something, we give the stamp of approval on it, it takes off. Like it's not a second mm-hmm. guess because sometimes we don't see other races as, as competition. We see oh, each other as competition. competition. And that's what the okay. problem is. Okay. Go back to Jim Crow. But like we say, that's for a whole <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you think about so it. So we look at it. So when other people are doing it, we're not really. It don't really matter, but if like if me and you doing the same thing, you saying it instantly becomes a competition. Correct. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean not not it may not start out that way, but it, it nine times ten it potentially can get that way if you don't if you don't have the right mindset. The way I think, I don't see nobody's competition. Like, and I'm not being that's not cocky being mm-hmm. arrogant because at the end of the day, what you do, that's on you. Your work ethic may be different from mine. So I know what I need to do for myself. Most people don't think that way. It's like, okay, I see y'all with podcasts, so what can I do? Yeah, I gotta get one. I, you know, we're not gonna one up. There. Well, yeah, <laughs> how can I do better? Versus, hey man, which now, uh, you know, shout out to you, to you, man, uh, Ernest. Yeah, you know, yeah, speak uh, easy. Yeah, speak yeah, he has he has a podcast, and you know, from the from the jump, he's shown support stuff yes. like that. Yes. You don't necessarily find that in a lot True. of people because once again, he could look at it, or anybody could look it's at his competition. And the great thing I love that I see now, as far as I Instagram, other podcasts or. They, they, they shout us out. Mm-hmm. And it's not even like, hey, man, what y'all doing? It's like, hey, we love what you're doing. Keep doing keep what you're doing. doing and then they keep it moving. That's how it should be. Yeah. If we create a culture like that, then you don't have to steal from each other. It's more like... Well, when our like, intro comes on, which, uh, shout out to the white, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a, it sounds like a smart brother on there saying that we just... Yeah. There's nothing <laughs> we can't shout tell. Shout out to you, uh, and we got to shout out to the producer that was my man, Jay, Jay Keys. The reason why I wasn't on the intro is because my man's still mad about the gummy worms, <laughs> which I paid. Yeah, it is. Sorry, I told him you can't even come. I told him so, so you hit on it, right? So we, we've discovered there's an issue, right? You stated that, um, you know, people, we got to, we got to, we got to do better. So how do we, how do we change that, right? How do we change from, People profiting off of us, or do we need to change? Or maybe what's the strategy? Like, what can we do? Well, in your opinion, like I said before, it's what we choose to give our attention to. If we don't give attention to it, it will never spread wings. You know, fire. It'll never grow. It's just like if we want to stop culture vulture, which I don't honestly think we do right. as a people, right? Because it almost feels like all right if somebody's. Uh, vulturing off my culture, it mm. almost makes us feel like we're validated. Like, okay, well, mm. well we so must we be doing that, something right. right. Yeah, 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 we must be doing something right because now they're doing it. And okay. I kind of think, I don't think that that's going to go anywhere. Do you feel like as black people, though, when people do something, like they take off something and then we acknowledge them and they in the wrong, do you feel like we're more easier to forgive people that are not our own people? Now, me personally, no. 
But as a whole, I do think so. I, I think that, you know, like I, I heard somebody bashing Bill Cosby. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. You know, like, it was really what he was accused of. You know, mm -hmm. he wasn't, you know, he didn't have no, I mean, I don't say proof because he was found guilty, you know, by right, right. peers or whatever. But I just, I don't think that we will forgive each other. Like, if a brother does something bad, so like, we you don't feel like it's harder. It's, it's harder. harder. Like, like, you know, like your boy, what's his name? Charlie Sheen. Like, mm -hmm. said, I, I knew what, what I had and I just was still so doing what I wanted to do. do. Right, right. You know, his shows and stuff still come on TV. Um, then, you know, you don't see none on Bill. You know, right. it's just like, it's, it's it's insane to me. And I feel like if we kind of stuck together more. So I, to answer your question, to kind of sum it all up, if we did our own culture and we gave our own culture the same energy that we give the vultures, mm -hmm. I think that we would just flip it. Yeah, we just flip it. Just flip it. Not Because it's going to be vultures. Just is, right. Right. But just give us that same energy. Mm -hmm. Give it to your own. What about you? What, what can we do, or or do we need to do something, or is it is it that big of a deal? You you have to get behind your your people, point blank. This is it's gonna happen. People still from other culture. I mean, we we you know everything we do, even back from our ancestors, everything that you know it's been taken from us. Like you know what I'm saying, right, right, taken and, and flipped it to where like it's almost to where some people hate themselves yes. because of you know what I'm saying just different you know different mm -hmm. issues, but. They take it and they, they profit off of it. And they could be many people, it's not one particular race. So you fill in blanks with you with your Yeah, blanks. whatever you want to fill it in with. You know what I'm saying? So we have to get behind our people. Um and I don't condone the stuff that, you know, Bill Cosby was accused of ac accused allegedly of whatever situation. Mm -hmm. His situation came at a at a real bad time because it came right in the middle of the, the Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? what happened was you had a lot of people get behind uh Charlie Shane. We didn't get behind Bill Cosby, and you know, for for more than one reason. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if he was found guilty, they had some real tangible evidence. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna give you one better. Tiger Woods. Okay. Tiger Woods. Go ahead. What yeah. About yeah. You? yeah, you know, what about Tiger? <laughs> so his Tiger do? No, no, he didn't do. Um, okay. Like how we don't how we forgive and get behind our people. When Tiger Woods was blowing up, he was you know black you know black golfer. We were supporting. I mean, people yeah. didn't know how to golf. You know what I'm saying? You know you know who you are. I, I, I didn't mess mess up a whole lot of golf courses. Right, right, right. <laughs> when he had this incident, you know what I'm saying? With he got caught with his wife, and right. he, he turned on us. He didn't want to be identified as being yes. black. Everybody wrote Tiger Woods off, right? Mm -hmm. A couple years ago, with he you know uh, great comeback at the Masters. Mm -hmm. Hey, he back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. keep that, you know what I'm saying? Well, so he, here's the same, here's one thing I've always said, even as a youngster, no matter if you're black, no matter what you do, how far you come, whatever you accomplish, you always gonna have to come back. Yeah. Look at people like OJ. I ain't black on OJ. Okay. When something happens, when it comes down to it, no matter <laughs> what happens, though. They show you what you yeah. are, bro. Right. But I'm saying, when but, it's the fan. But exactly. When he thought, mm -hmm. hey, I'm good, I don't need nothing, when he came in trouble, who was the people he was leaning on? Yeah, but but he went to the church. You know what I'm saying? It's different things. Well, we, what happened? What, what did we do? We for, we forgave him. Yeah, yeah. And they brought him back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But even when he was standing with that look with that glove, yeah. looking hey, like hey, 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 y'all had to. <laughs> do y'all watch uh, Father OJ on Twitter? Yes, he's, he's a he's, tremendous. If y'all ain't following OJ on Twitter, this <laughs> this dude, he's the funniest guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I can see why he was so well, not just why he was, but why he's so considered so charismatic. Like he's just a guy, like he's just a funny dude. He seems yeah. like a good guy to hang out with, but you can't get on his bad side because he's just true. My bad. My God, Mister, and don't take his stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, he never would have saw about his business, right? But what I'm saying is, like he did that, right? And he went back to the church because you know, in black community, you get in trouble. Where you going? You go to church, go to church. But maybe you go and get some prayer. You do an interview with a famous pastor. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're not going. He's been a he's been a he's been a deacon in our church, bro. But once again, we we forgive. We forgive. I don't have a problem with us forgiving. I I just feel like we can't be so giving of of something up. Like you said, if we ignore it, it makes sense. But if someone is doing something that you know and profit of and we not getting no credit for, we can't it'd be so easy to give them the nod. It's like, oh, that's dope, man. Like, if you take... Who you talking about, bro? If you, are, about you already... <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to know who you talking about. You know, we're not, we not talking about your, your famous rapper, uh, uh, Eminem. Uh, Which, do uh, you feel like he's a culture before we, before we go any further? No, I don't. Okay. I sure don't. Can you yeah. elaborate on why you feel like he's not? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really want to do that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Mm-hmm. You heard that right now? <laughs> So, uh, cause we gonna be in here for the no, no, we, no. I, I just was curious because a lot of people like what's the one dude, the rapper that really don't like him, uh, Lord, uh, Lord Jamar. Jamar. Okay, yeah. what's his what's his beef with? You you being hip hop, Lord guy. Jamar's a hater, dog. Mm-hmm. But he's saying that like he, he makes feel like he's still in the culture. He ain't very really authentic. Well, his, his thing was he felt like Eminem never gave the nod. Like, yo, this is this is y'all. Think he did. He did. He said it in multiple different songs. He said in interviews. Like he he, he even did an interview recently. He was like, dude, like I've always said, I'm not people that tell him he's the king of rap, or king of hip hop. He's always turned like, no, I, I'm a guest. Oh, okay. I'm a guest in hip hop. Now you can go. Oh, you know, no, I didn't know that. But I, I feel good. No, no, it's all good. It's it's, it's, it's in my notes. I told you, I got the clip ready. You feel me? Uh, and once again, like I was saying, like, you know, the area he grew up in, Detroit, if mm-hmm. you can just look at his his crew that he was around, all of them sound the same. Right. He's always said, like, when, you know, like, look it up. He's always said, I'm a guest in hip hop. I understand, mm-hmm. like, you know, this is not my culture. I am a fan of hip hop. And when you okay. listen to him, he gives nods to, like, uh, Eric B., Rakim. And, and, you he, and you know what I'm saying, but you can look at, listen to his lyrics, and he tells you who he modeled his, the people he listened to, though, and you can listen to it in his music. Now, once again, I'm not saying he's the greatest rapper of all time. I like, not, he's not. <laughs> but I like him because he's a But do you feel like other white rappers like, uh, like Vanilla Ice? Vanilla Ice or MGK, uh, Matt Lamore? Because I know there was a big, you remember when it was the Grammys, there was a big I'm glad you brought that up. I I, I remember it being a big issue. I'm glad you brought that up. Like, people were tight that Mac Lamar had won a a Grammy. Kendrick Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar should have won that Grammy. Right. To Pimple Butterfly. Right, but he didn't. And Mac Lamar, what is Mac Lamar doing now? But why is that, though? Why is it what? That he won? Yeah, why is that? Did he win? Because they're taking the culture and switching it to, they not trying to classify as rap or hip hop. They're trying to turn it to pop. Like everything now has that upbeat sound. It's not really, you're not having nobody sit there and go battle and give you some real legit bars. You know, you just going to say something that sounds nice. Yeah, but I mean, music as a whole now has been dumbed down, though, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was catchy. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's just, I mean, because we've been accepting everything. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We on the market. Uh, Once again, we we set this. <laughs> we we, hey, set, we, we set. got a Black to the Basics podcast right. still coming out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we set the standard to allow that to, to, to you know what I'm saying, to, to be what's expected. No, no, I, 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 I'm not disagreeing with that. I feel like, like, I think now when we, even, let's talk about music, right? I feel, even, not even just with music, I feel like sometimes we're so easy to give up something. Like, somebody can have one hot single and we like, we put them in a legend conversation. Like, how did we get here? You had one single and now we talk about you being a legend? Right. Who's to say you even gonna make an a album? Yes. People do ten song, three singles on IG. Oh, that joke was hot. You know, you got this person doing this, and then next, you know, they don't even have no album that's really popular. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like, why are we so easy to give somebody that title? So you ain't no Miles Cyrus fan? Nah, I don't even know a song from Miles Cyrus. She definitely was a culture problem. Oh yeah, she I got she on my list. Cause I'm cause we're, yeah, because we're I'm gonna slide my people in as I right. I don't give you Takashi, I give you Vanilla Ice. I just look in now, Drake, now, now, in now, right, now, y'all talk about Vanilla Ice, right? But I know y'all definitely was singing the Go Ninja, Go Ninja rap from Ninja Turtles. It was a dope joint, but I also was like eight years old. Yeah, I, was, I, I, didn't, know I didn't know better. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. and here's my thing. I think for me, even like Eminem, right? Uh-huh. So Eminem, I, me and you debate all the time all about Eminem. Right? Yes, they do. Yeah, we, we go yes. in when it comes to Eminem. My thing is when I was younger, I was a teenager, you know, I, I like Eminem for it was cool, but as I got older and understood more about me, I understand that wasn't for my taste. That doesn't mean he's not a good rapper. I'm not gonna say he's not. He's but a great rapper. He's a great, great lyricist, right? Absolutely. I just feel like some of the things he say I don't mm-hmm. identify with. Right. I feel like Kendrick says something more had the same kind of style, but says something that more makes more sense to me. Because you can identify with that. Right, right, right. But I also feel like again, everybody's quick to say, hey. He's a GOAT. But you even said himself, he don't even say that. Yeah, he doesn't. You know what I'm saying? It's like we quick to give him. And the always question I always ask you, if a black rapper raps the exact same way, same flow, same thing, talk about the same content, would he have that same level of success? Erg gonna give you this long answer. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna give you the short. It's, that's that's the truth. No. Okay. You, you, that's my only this, that's my only thing. If you that listen I have. to some of the lyrics that Eminem says, and if that was coming from a 
myself. We be like, well, hey, you need to go ahead and get some. Yeah, but that's because we, as our culture, we don't talk about like killing our parents and, and all that sure. other type of stuff. So, yeah, of course. You can't think about killing Right, right. 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 So, 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 right. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm saying. So, of course. If somebody's rapping like that, you know, you, we're not going to be able to uh, identify. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But not all of his music. No, I'm not saying all that. But I'm saying, like, it, okay, people that you have in your top five may not be in my top five, right? Okay. Let's say your top five. I don't have no top five. It's really <laughs> no, I'm just, no, we're going to ask. I'm sorry. We, we're going to talk about rap. Just, top five music, whatever. Just, if you want to just. Okay, who's top your, five TV shows. Who's, <laughs> right. who's your top five musicians or artists? Like, if you, right now, if you had a concert and you wanted to hit five artists, who would it be? It would be Biggie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pop. Mm-hmm. Okay. Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because okay. we said music, right? Yeah, yeah artists. Yeah, just artists. Yeah, just artists. Um, I'm stopping right there. <laughs> I ain't about to have y'all boys debate me. All. No, you good. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all my top three. What I'm supposed to give five? You, I mean, just because my point is everybody has it's gonna be like, You no, know, no, you I, may listen to music for different reasons. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But so, I get, I'm agreeing with that, right? My thing I have with that is just because something is in your top five, I'm not gonna see it the same way you do. And I feel like when I say some of my Eminem is like. People are really like mad, but that's not, he's not gonna get no pay in my car. No, I know what I'm saying. Uh, because you, you can sound like a hater. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I gotta put Jay Z in there too. I'm sorry. Right. Right. You in the top, right. top. So I, I just, he ain't gonna get no spin, you know. Right. Okay. Even sometimes I hear one song, I might skip the song. It ain't no diss to him. It's just like, that ain't what my ears wanna hear. I got you. But it ain't no diss. But we can't make people associate with right. how we do it. Yeah, yeah. What you listen to is cool for you. It ain't cool for me. But I'm not Eminem ain't getting no play. Bro, if there's some old school Eminem come on, I'm rocking, bro. I'm I'm back in my mindset. Me and my dog Derek listening to the yeah, SAC yeah. over and over and over. Yeah, it's I, dope. I just, I, I, I'm with it, man. I, I Like I said, I just feel like as a whole, with, with, with the culture of everything now, we so easy to give people the title. Like, even like you look at basketball. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, you know, when they were playing, they have a, a good game. They're like, that's the greatest ever. Like, how? No, you know what I mean? If you say <laughs> one of the two. What I'm something. saying is that's how it's that's how it is. Right. Like, now we giving that nod. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm gonna give the nod. Like, so you don't think them two are probably one of the greatest shooters of all time? Steph? Yes. Clay, no. He ain't got there yet. I would say Steph is higher than Clay. Okay. But Steph Curry is one of the greatest shooters of all time. Yeah, but definitely. Even, but you, I, I have. Still be but better. you gotta realize, I come up that, that these two shuttles were AKA Ray Allen, Reggie Miller. He broke you know, they, right, but I'm saying right. But you can't. Everybody gonna have view things different. The same way some people put Jordan at the top based on rings. Some people may say, well, LeBron is better based on just we pure do, talent. We do off the court, different thing, do. right? So it's just different. People' perspective is different. Right. All I'm saying is just be aware of. Your perspective may not be the same as the next person. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But what, what I feel like we can do, you know, getting back to like you said, you know, what we can do. I feel like just be a little more careful about stuff you giving away. You know what I'm saying? Like I look at hold it. If you got a bag of chips, you giving all your chips. You ain't got no chips. That's all I'm saying. Or gummy worms. I still want gummy worms. That's all good. But but I'm saying I just feel like with that we got to be more cautious to understand and, and really look at it for what it's worth. What used to bother me is like, let's say you walk into, you walk into a clothing store, right? You're going to get a suit. Mm-hmm. Somebody walk up to you, uh, uh, a gentleman that's not black, say, hey, what's going on, bro? How you doing? What's going on, brother? Try to dap you up. You're going to take offense to that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, be aware of stuff like that, man. That, that's, I, when I, that's one of my pet peeves. Like, don't. Don't try that to dat me. That would be the form of a culture book. Right? Yes, don't don't try to dat me. Shake my hand like a man. I'm the same as like you, dog. Don't do that. That bothers me. Man, look, we had this at work. We had a little, uh, I guess they call it a town hall. Yeah. And I'm not going to say where I work. Yep. Yeah. Just in case, but we had some of the people who, you know, the owners and the, the, mm-hmm. like the top executives and everything, they came out with. Bling bling jacket, wearing mm. ball caps, and I mean like coaching, vulture, and all oh, day. Now mm-hmm. let me walk in there wearing what they had on oh, on a normal day. They send me home. Yeah, it's like no, like, you can't wear that. It. It, 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 it was just it, 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 I, applaud or like cheer them on. 
Some people did because you almost feel like you have to. Mm-hmm. So, but I tell you, when I when I saw that, I was so appalled. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I know it, you. Yeah, you you are know how I am, bro. And I kind of like know that. Well, well, it, 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 by, by the end of this town hall, I was sitting back in my little cubicle because I'm not gonna do that. And then they was dapping each other up and taking pictures. I didn't for the people on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> taking pictures like this and photos. I was like, bro, you would not like. Where you home home is? But 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 they get, we gave the approval. Had they walked out with that on, and instead of the cheers and claps, so you right. said we need to be more militant. That's yeah. your strategy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you wanted to stop, like yeah. Yeah. that is true. I People, I ain't, ain't going to tell the white yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, no, I feel you, but like, what, it goes back to what I said earlier. If it's a group of people, the more people you have standing up, say, "Hey, man, that didn't accept it." It'll change, so but it's not going to change. So you said this address is straight up, straight up, straight up. So, straight up. Like, so for instance, like you know, shout out to E for the you know for the point. What do you think about, you know, you go to the Chinese food restaurant, <laughs> right, right? And they got chicken wings. <laughs> do you I think the, do some good chicken, well, bro? Hey, see, see, yeah, they, 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 when culture vulture doesn't come, you know, to, to your mind. You ain't gonna get no, no black press to tell me culture vulture when it comes to food. When it comes to some chicken wings, Food is in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, 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 I understand that, but that's... That's not a form of taking, you know. It is. No, it very much is. Right. It definitely is. But we no, give the right. stamp of approval because the wings be good. <laughs> of course. Right. Yeah. So once again, if Bussing. you walk in there and like, yo, take that off the menu, G. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? That ain't you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, <laughs> like, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> now look. But, look. You gotta, but in order to do that, you got to have an alternative, dog. Where am I going to get these wings? Is there a black owned spot? Give me the black owned spot. I'm not going. I told. I'm not. No, giving no, no, I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying. Give me the spot. I'm just saying like you gotta have an alternative. Like, yeah, but I'm saying, if you addressing something, but I'm just give saying, me another wrong. I just said all the time, like you know, back in the day, you know, growing up uh, in Crown Point, they know who they are. We pull our money together, like yeah. Yeah, order some Chinese food, right? And it's all they want. Yo, let me get the five piece wings, like <laughs> you. You don't order Chinese food to get the wings, dog. Like, you order Chinese food to get the Chinese, Chinese food. food. <laughs> you know what I'm but even here, though, the Chinese food is American, man. So it's not. Yeah, right. I, yeah, I know. But I'm, you know, what I'm saying, man. Like, yeah, hey, hey. That, that could be a telling while you guys. My, my, the Asian community, y'all keep on perfecting that wing. Touchdown, touchdown. But y'all, like, the art of the wing has been perfected. I'm not giving away. No, hey, give us a free fifty pieces. Piece piece. We didn't yes. mention them all. Yes. Yes. Oh, boy. No, no, I, speaking but, of that, just the last episode when you said you mentioned touchdown. Yeah, I said. Going to get it. <laughs> but no, I, I agree with the other. We're not. Don't get it twisted. We're not sitting up here saying that only non-black people get like. Like you said, black people can be guilty of it too. Sammy Sosa. So. I just. <laughs> we're not gonna talk. What, about this a term? What's Sammy Sosa? We're not gonna talk about Slam and Sammy. We we'll never do that. <laughs> never do that. Well, I for the fact that he felt the need to lighten up, lighten up, so he could feel beautiful. Is what he. I I, I think I remember so reading that he felt. Yeah. That to me is like, come on, bro. So yeah, come we, on. You so it goes back on us. Are we? Are we I mean, hey, you know, I know I ain't gonna mention that name because that might get us canceled. <laughs> we just <laughs> gotta do better. But I, I, like, I know, but we, but we embrace that stuff though, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like Lil Kim. Like I don't know if that's a medical. Oh, no, I, I mean, why, 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 why? Yeah, I, I listen. That's the system touching for me because I, I, I remember being a teenager and I had that poster. On my wall. I, I know exactly. <laughs> from her first album. Cover. Yeah, I've right, been right. Okay. okay. So she's not that. She's not. That's not her. Video. No, no, no. So I, not, I love Lil Kim to Death. I mm-hmm. man, I'm riding up to the studio today. I was listening to all about the bitches, mm-hmm. and, and her verse was cold. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Very like, talented. But you feel like she was. It was a thing of so hate. Like she hated her. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm asking no, no. like what her reason was. Because here's the thing. So like you have little black girls growing up right now. They may look at Lil Kim like, hey, she was. This. Why do we always only put that? That responsibility. No, 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 no. I'm just using it as an example. <laughs> oh, okay, I got like, as an example, I mean, you can look at Sammy Sosa or, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, once again, I don't know if this was a medical condition or not, but like Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, Villalago? That's a real, I'm not, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. that's a real thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All so, right, like, um, nothing about Mike. Yeah, no, <laughs> Mike, listen, Mike, get rid of no, Mike. No, no, what I'm saying, Mike <laughs> is one of my all time greats. Yeah, what I'm saying is, it had you not known that was a medical issue, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? You you can look at early Mike and look oh, at yeah. Mike now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody could take that like, well, did he hate himself? Mm-hmm. Which, you, you know, know what I'm saying? I, I have seen this a lot lately because I do be on Twitter a lot, but they show like pictures of Michael Jackson before. Mm-hmm. And it was like, if he only realized how beautiful he was, and you know, you got this you know, brother with this big afro and the big mm-hmm. nose and everything. But see, like, that's, they, they're putting out the wrong message. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it goes back to the social media episode last week. What social you got media. was that, man? You just got to get off <laughs> the, the social media hate. 
To anybody out there that got yoga, please hit Jay Erd. <laughs> hit him up, need some yoga, need some that coming soup from me. That woosa. I'm good. You need some woosa, man. I'm good. <laughs> Don't be so sensitive. Any good. last thoughts that y'all have on just the culture vote you want to leave the people with? Just your final thoughts, man. Final thoughts is what you give your energy to is what takes off. If you don't like culture voting and you don't like certain people doing something, just ignore it. And eventually it's going to stop. It's mm-hmm. like if, you, you, if you're a parent or if you're an older brother, or older sister, and the younger sibling of your kids acting up, it's because they want attention. And mm-hmm. You got two ways of you can put out that belt on them. But <laughs> if you just ignore it, it's going to stop. So that's what we got to do. We got to give the, the same attention that we give to the vultures. We got to give it to our own people. True. And we got to stop giving so much attention to what we don't want to see. Yeah. And it'll go away. What, what about you, uh, uh, J. Herb? Man, if you're not going to support new people, you know what I'm saying, then you can't really complain about Or if you're not going to stand up for what you know is right, and mm-hmm. you're just going to be quiet. You support your people in what sense, though? What you saying? Just, like, just yeah. the business? Or just, just, yeah, like, just in general. Like, just if you, it, okay, so if you're not going to get behind your brother, no matter what they're doing, right? Mm-hmm. But you're quick to do for others, uh, other races, and don't necessarily be white, be Asian, whatever, you know, then don't, you can't say nothing because you're, you're, you're continuing the problem. So the one thing I hate is when people be like, Oh man, they 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 doing Colin Kaepernick wrong and da 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 that, but you not you not getting behind the cause. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You just talking because it's a hot topic. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't easy to, to ride the wave. If somebody doing a hashtag, it's easy to jump in, throw your little caption, right. throw a nice I, picture on there. I did on. call myself boycotting NFL during the preseason. <laughs> 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 then when the game, when the ball actually got right. kicked off. So all the and, I, and I was the same way. But the reason why I started watching football again is because. You know, this wasn't reported earlier. Mm-hmm. Some teams they did reach out to him, mm-hmm. offered him contract. They said the Yeah, yeah. Well, I, well, they offered him initially backup. Oh, gosh, he's like a so backup. right. right. He's not a backup. Mm-hmm. So no. once I realized it was three teams actually that offered him a contract, like, okay, he turned it down. So was it the Falcons? Because he needs. <laughs> <He's like, "Boy, laughs> you don't make Matty Ice though. Well, y'all need a listen. <laughs> Y'all are not going to do that. No, no, don't no. even get started on football. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 like, like, what they My say? man got the full do bar, bro. No, I'm just saying, saying for the Falcons, they're not going to do right until y'all do right by Michael Vick. Oh, Point that's blank. not true. Point blank. Not true. I got you. Until then, they're going to keep losing. <laughs> and I love it. You know what, man? Like, it's just not do it, but I, I still, it, I cry at night when I think about how Lamar Jackson is not in Jacksonville right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, let me tell you, I was so serious about that. I actually traded him. To the Jaguars on Madden. <laughs> and my son hated it. He was like, come on. Man. And, I, and, and, I, and, I, and we went undefeated because I played on rookie. We went undefeated. He won the MVP. Ball. Super Bowl MVP. Pro Bowl. All that. We, hey, man. So, Ball. That, yeah, man, get behind you. People. I'm sorry. If, if not, man, just be quiet. I'm, sure. I'm just, you know, I'm tired of seeing that. But like, yeah, I, I would definitely agree. My final thoughts is make sure you support your people. But for me, what's more important is actually doing the work. You don't just talk about this. Don't complain about it on social media. Don't jump in the comments and talk about it. Do it through your action. I'm a big person of, of doing the examples I want my kids to see, the things I want people to see for me. I'm going to do it through action. I think action is more important than, than me posting 10 different hashtags or memes saying, oh, we know these people feeling this and this and complaining about it. Like, do it through action. Show your kids, tell your daughters, your sons, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're intelligent, you're smart, you can be anything you want. Put that same energy to them because they're the future for you. Right. So don't spend the time sitting up there behind a the computer being a keyboard warrior and talking about it. <laughs> and based on what you just said, I, I cannot wait to announce something in a couple of weeks. Okay. So, okay. Uh, oh, oh, you mean want to get an exclusive? Yes, yes. You're going to get <laughs> some. The people that tune in, you definitely will get a, an exclusive. Uh, here on the show, I oh, cannot wait. I cannot wait to. I'm excited. I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, shout out to that man. Great stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. So now y'all know it's time for my favorite part of the show. <laughs> Tell us why you mad. Let me tell you why I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you why I'm mad. Tell us why you mad. I got, hold on. Oh. Let me hear you there. So today is tell you why. Tell us why you mad. Is it's called a feature. A very mad uh, podcast host right now, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. J. Er, t- tell us why you mad, sir. I- I'm going to tell you why I'm mad, man. We're more irritated, right? Mm. One thing, so people, 
you know, you know when you lose something, right? <laughs> and you, you know, you can't find something. And this burns me up when somebody says, well, "Where did you lose it?" At? Oh, I hate that. What's the problem? That's no, because if <laughs> I knew, I would be asking oh, where know. I lost it. I need to jump in. You know, no, you could. You feel <laughs> my pain. If oh, I God. knew where I lost it, it wouldn't be lost. So no, it's a way of backtracking. Like we're, we're no, we're, then, I, no, I, then, then I, say I've done, that. I've done that. I backtrack. That's why I'm coming to ask you. <laughs> no. I've already just assumed. <laughs> I, and then not then only, done not only did I backtrack, but you saw me walk around the house for the last 30, 40 minutes, right? It's mm-hmm. just like okay, you you watch Criminal Minds, right? You mm-hmm. remember they do the techniques, but they be like, all right, close your eyes. We're gonna think about. It. I'm trying to take you back. No. So when they say hey, where you lost it at? At what point in your mind did you realize uh, I don't have it? When I just looked for it right now, and I know it's lost. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So that's so you saying you got bad short term memory. You supposed to remember that, though. No, but that's that that if, if you have great memory, the the product, whatever you're looking for, <laughs> would not be lost. You see what I'm saying? It's lost because you lost it. I can tell you really bad. <laughs> yeah, man, because I I hate when people do that. I hate when people that. Well, where'd you lose it? And I always give you that voice, like, well, where, where did you lose it? No, no, no. I found that's the, that. I'm genuinely concerned no, about you. No, no, that's that you ain't gonna help me. Right, if you <laughs> genuinely concerned, you know something. what? I'm gonna help you look for it. <laughs> no, don't ask me that. Don't ask me that. So, uh, y'all got it right here live. Don't ask Jay <laughs> Wait, Where did you lose your keys at or whatever? Yeah, yeah, don't ask me that, man. Just say, hey, I haven't seen it. Well, I help you look for it. Don't ask. So they can they can they can say anything besides to where you lost it. Absolutely. If you if, hey man, I, you know, I lost my phone. Oh, okay, you know. So they say, what the last time you had it? That's cool. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but don't ask me. Well, where did you lose? It? I ain't know that. No, I know. You're not doing it. Don't, don't ask me where. And then, <laughs> don't do that. Shout, shout, shout out, shout out to, shout out to that. Oh, oh man, it's man. Man. It's all good, yeah, man. Because it's gonna be Woosa, man. Again, if anyone's out there, you have a, a yoga company. I don't need uh, no yoga. Company. Meditation, healing. <laughs> Herb gonna be in the car just put some heavy metal on. Right. <laughs> if you have a, a yoga business, please contact us on Instagram. B to B underscore podcast. Now look, now, if somebody, if somebody listen, if somebody leaves in the comments like, "Yo, I got it," I'm, when we fight, no, we got it. We are gonna go ahead and do it. So. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Love, love, love. Next week, bye. Thank y'all.